Now, I'm going to demonstrate something here. What are the things we glory in? Can you come here and stand facing the... Yeah. Most of us glory in wealth up, up. Where's that mic? Okay. Okay. Wealth. The wealthiest man in the world. Seen him? <laughs> He's number one in Forbes list of the wealthiest people in the world. Zero in God's eyes. Okay. What are the other things we glory in? We get another brother. Here's a good looking brother. Come here. Beauty. You see how handsome he is? I mean it. <laughs> Zero. Okay. What's the other thing people glory in? Position. Okay, come, brother. He's got a very high position in the world. You don't recognize it. He looks humble, but he's got a very high position. Zero in God's eyes. Okay, the next one. He looks very clever. PhD, education. Zero. Okay, one more. Here's the athlete. He wins every medal in the Olympics. Sports, zero. This guy is the one who's really popular. The young people, old people, girls, everyone is really popular. <laughs> Popularity, zero. Okay. This is me. Preacher, zero. He'll represent me. <laughs> Preachers, you know, people can be proud of preaching. Zero. And there are a hundred and one other things or a million other things that represents all the other things you can be proud of. Okay. And the last... The, Root cause of it all is self. Now study it carefully. See what, what they are, what Nebuchadnezzar understood. All the inhabitants of the earth are nothing. You know what gives value to them? Jesus. Now you see the value of all these people. You take it away, all the zeros, you can have all those qualities and you're still a zero. But the moment Jesus comes in, even if it's just one person, he's got value more than all these other people. Just because Jesus is with him. You children, remember that. Never forget it. One person. And when you get fellowship, one person, ten becomes a hundred. That's the wonder of fellowship. You get one more brother in fellowship. See what happens. And one more. And one more. And one more. Fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. Where everybody recognizes their zeros. This is the church. This is the body of Christ. And you can be a member of the body of Christ, a functioning member, if you recognize like King Nebuchadnezzar and like Paul, that you're a zero and that God is everything. I hope this will be imprinted in your mind forever. And the moment you suddenly begin to think highly of yourself again, you know what happens. You're a zero all over again. That's why you always need to keep Jesus number one in your life. 
in every area of your life throughout the new year. Thank you, brother, all you zeros. Thank you very much. And the one who preaches is also equally a zero, just like everybody else. This is the secret, my brothers and sisters. This is why Jesus pleased the Father. He took his position before the Father. Humility is not, oh, saying I'm nothing, or hanging your head down, or wearing torn clothes, or none of all that. Humility is the recognition God is everything. You and I may have different qualities, but we are zero in his eyes. 